sometimes life throws you a curveball. Sometimes the world around you gives you more than you think you can handle. But guess what? Nature is made to survive. Animals, including us, can survive amazingly harsh conditions. Never say never. Here are some animals that have learned and evolved to adapt to some of the worst conditions in the world. So let's start with the desert. We're talking about extreme heat, places where the temperature is regularly over 100 degrees, and on top of that, there's almost no rainfall, no moisture. What kind of species can survive with almost no water? Well, how about a sandfish? Yup, I said sandfish, but it's not really a fish. It's more of a lizard, but it acts a lot like a fish. Moving their legs like a swimmer, they can actually swim through the sand. It helps them to avoid the sun and a little bit of the intense heat. Their smooth skin is almost like a fish. It's glossy and it gl they glide. But despite the fact that it's very, very smooth, it's extremely tough. Sand can actually grind and cut like glass, and their skin can withstand the damage of that sand. They also have a very sharp pointed jaw that allows them to kind of cut through that sand, slice through as they're swimming. It's very interesting to watch. You think that's crazy? How about this guy? This is an animal that is way too cute to be as extreme as it is. Now, believe it or not, this is a fully grown adult sand cat. It looks an awful lot like a little house kitten, doesn't it? <laughs> they have a very, very thick, dense coat that you would ex assume would make them overheat, but it actually helps hold in the cool air to protect against the heat. Well, and th at night, the desert gets extremely cold, so then that thick fur actually helps them with staying warm at night. They have huge eyes and ears, which not only makes them absolutely adorable and look like forever kittens, but it also allows them to see and hear much, much farther in the vast open desert. There's a lot less of an overall animal population in the desert, so them being a predator, they need to be able to do this in order to hunt. They need to be able to tell if there's an animal anywhere even slightly close by. They also have long, long hairs on their feet that help protect from the extreme heat, and their paws are actually kind of padded. It allows them to stand up on their claws, and in doing so, they can actually move across the sand without leaving almost any trace. There's basically no footprints because they stand upright on those little claws. And last but certainly not least, this is an animal that usually when you hear about a tortoise, you expect it to live in very wet areas. They almost always live in areas with a lot of water. So how on earth does a turtle survive in the desert? What? How? All right, well, they have a very, very oversized bladder. Turtles and tortoises need water, some more than others, but this turtle has adapted to, instead of having to live around water, it actually carries water with it. A lot like an animal you guys might be more familiar with, a camel. Almost half of its total body weight is just stored water. They also have huge wide feet that allow them to move well over the sand, spread out their body weight, and they can, because their front feet are kind of flatter, it allows them to be able to dig holes in the sand. So by doing that, they're able to dig deep into the sand to find any leftover rainwater from who knows how long ago.